Do you find yourself doing the same basic task over and over again? In this video, I will show you how you can automate your browser without having to write a single line of code with the extension Automa. Okay, so the website we're going to take uh, as an example is Instagram. So we're going to automate the, um, sending a DM uh, using the Instagram website. So first, what you have to do is to record the workflow. So just do the actions you want to do manually so here it's just sending a quick message uh, just say hey and then uh, as you can see all the actions have been recorded and now you can uh, well stop the, the recording and then go to Automa where you, we have a workflow so the workflow is almost ready uh, the only thing i'm going to do now is that here uh, with the new tab uh, here, the tab that is opened, uh, there's only one URL and I want to send messages to several people. So I'm going to have to link um, a Google Sheets with uh, several um, URL of Instagram accounts I want to send uh, messages to. So to do that first, I have to, well, connect my um, Google Sheets with the URLs I'm targeting uh, to the Automa workflow. So I'm just going to add a row so that I can uh, give each um, each uh, variable a name. And then I have to share uh, the spreadsheet with the Automa um, service account um, email address. So there we go. Uh, and now this will ensure that the Automa has access to the spreadsheet. So now let's go back to the workflow. What we're going to have to do is, well, connect the spreadsheet. Uh, and uh, so all you have to do is um, use the get spreadsheet value uh, option and uh, specify the range and the ID of the spreadsheet you're trying to, to access. So the ID is in the URL and the range, well, uh, it's just um, it's just simply uh, the range of data you are trying to get. Uh, so in uh, our case is uh, is the first sheet, so sheet one, and uh, we don't have a lot of rows. We only have uh, we're only using uh, rows A one to B. Perfect. So oh yes, here it's not working because I forgot um, the exclamation point. But as you can see now, it works. And if I click on preview data, I can access my data and see um, well what we have. So now that we have a Google Sheet, we are going to use the loop data module to be able to loop through, uh, well, the, the sheet. So here uh, we are going to have to add a reference key. And in our case, it's going to be the link because we want to loop through uh, the rows containing the link. And then uh, one thing you need to make this module work is to add the loop breakpoint module just that that the scenario knows when to start over again. So in our case, it needs to start over again when the message is sent. So uh, that's why I'm adding the loop breakpoint at the end. And all you have to do is just to add the loop ID. The loop ID is defined by the tool. So you just have to enter the loop ID. Now that this is done, the next step is to add a new tab um, module so that we can uh, open uh, the URLs uh, in the Google Sheets in the new tab. So, um, to be able to use those URLs, we have to, uh, well, uh, use a reference key uh, to access the previous um, the previous module, so the loop data module. So the way it works is that you just have to use curly brackets uh, and then um, add the, the module name. So in our case, loop data. Uh, in the documentation, uh, you will see how you can call different modules, and I will link it below. And then um, the way it should be written is so then add the ID of the module and then uh, the key of the element you want to get, and then close using uh, curly brackets again. So that's it. Now let's connect the new tab to the well message element. And uh, we need to save our workflow. That's it. So let's run the workflow and see what we get. Uh, okay. So as you can see, 
uh, it opens the URL, then it writes the message, then it opens the next URL, clicks on message, and then writes the message. And that's it. So uh, we are done for this uh, video. As you can see, uh, setting this type of automation is very easy and quite quick. And in this video, I use Instagram, but you can do it for any website uh, you want and for any purpose you want. So I hope that, as always, this video was helpful. And uh, if it was, make sure to like, share, subscribe. And I will uh, be back in another automation video very soon. Bye.